my second second favorite time of the year, enjoying some uh, Ukraine mango juice. I, I thought I heard something, and if I did, it might send me over the edge, so I apologize. I... Excuse me one second. Not until Thanksgiving's over! <laughs> Alright, now, uh, where was I? Ah, yes. Christmas being a pain in the ass for the holiday in the middle known as Thanksgiving. You can name several Christmas slashers. You can name Christmas horror films. Can you name Thanksgiving movies? I can name three off the top of my head. No, Thanksgiving 1 and 2 does not count as two separate ones. Or Thanksgiving 1 and 3, I should say. Thanksgiving 1 and 3, Thanksgiving movie. National Lampoon's. Thanksgiving Vacation, It Exists, Was Made for TBS, Sucks. And the movie we are here to talk about today, Awkward Thanksgiving by Henrik Kuto. Now this is the three disc collector's edition. It comes with a Blu-ray, DVD, and Wishboner. Now if you are a Patreon, you can see my review of Wishboner, which is very short. But I explain why in that video, so please watch that. Now, this film has all the Henrik Kuto regulars. It has Mary Lee Osborne, Aaron R. Ryan, and I cannot think of his name. I want to say his first name is Brian, and I want to say another guy's name is Brad. But they, these guys show up a lot, and... Uh, I think his name's Brian. He plays the older gentleman in this with an oxygen mask. And I do believe that... Well, not I do believe. He is in The Legend of Boggy... Not Legend, sorry. Boggy Creek, the series, which is directed by Henrik. And Joni Durian, who is in this, is also in Boggy Creek, the series. So go to Amazon Prime. Watch that. It is an amazing series. Can't recommend enough. Back to Awkward Thanksgiving. So what is this story? Well, a mother passes away, and the story is about Thanksgiving being held after she passes and it goes to the next person in line, as well as trying to get to Thanksgiving. Now, I love this movie. I'm stating that here and now. I'm stating that this will be biased. I watch this every year around Thanksgiving. The, Henrik managed to get the feel correct. The feel, the heart of this is what a lot of movies do not get. He managed to make this, in my mind, this this is if you combine Christmas Vacation and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. He gets the heart, and so many, so many directors get that wrong. He, The actors feel like a unit, and you can even see that in Wishboner. This feels like a real family in this. Um, now, there are some memorable scenes. I... I really don't want to spoil the movie because I want everybody to see it. The thing I will say is that the, some of my favorite scenes that stand out is a competition between two characters. And they just keep trying to one-up each other. And it, it is one of my favorite things because it just keeps getting... The stakes keep getting higher and higher. But um, there's also the... I'm... For whatever reason, I can't remember if he's an uncle or a grandfather. But he is extremely racist, and he's that one always at a th at Thanksgiving who says something slightly racist, and it's one of those things where people just try not to respond, but yet don't know how to respond, and the payoff to this is extremely funny. But, uh, again, I do admit this is a comedy, uh... Henrik is one of the few directors to be able to pull off several different genres. He had slasher, a slasher with the Babysitter Massacre series, which, ironically, takes place on Halloween. He did Awkward Thanksgiving, which is a family comedy, which takes place in November, and A Bulldog for Christmas, 
which is in December and takes place at Christmas. So, kind of neat that he did three holidays right in a row. Um, three holiday movies, they're not in a row, but just three holiday movies. And all of them are different because A Bulldog for Christmas is a family movie. So, I don't know what else I can say about this other than give it a watch. I mean, this is probably my favorite Henrik Cuto production. And it has, like I said, it has all the heart in it. It is, again, it, it nails the idea of a family camaraderie. It nails so much of the stuff that films like this get wrong. I do, I do need to say that this is not like Christmas Vacation. You can't put it in with like little Johnny or, Johnny or Timmy in the room. There are some racist remarks made by a character or uncouth jokes, I should say, not racist, but just uncouth jokes would be much better. Um, things that aren't politically correct by one character, same character there. Um, there is nudity in this. There are There is a bunch of swearing, but again, this nails a real family, because if you watch, like, a, a Hallmark or Lifetime movie, I don't know anybody that's going to go, so I told my boss they could kiss my tush. Maybe a few people, but most of them would go, yeah, I told that fucker to kiss kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's more like it, and that's what this is. This is real dialogue that you would hear at a Thanksgiving. So, check out Awkward Thanksgiving. It is available at henflix.com. The Blu-ray, I don't know if it is, but henflix.com for this. Check it out, and thank you for watching. Before I go, next month, we I will do one review, and that is for um, A Raunchy Christmas Story, which is produced by Henrik Cuto. Um, I will have a list. I, I can't remember what that list is. It's, I think this one is the top... 10 Christmas horror films. Yeah, YouTube has the top 10 Christmas horror films. Patreons, you will be seeing uh, patrons who see this. If you become a Patreon, you will get my review of Wishboner. You will get the top 10 Christmas horror list. And Patreon, Patreons will get my top 10 uh, holiday Christmas specials list. So, so that was Awkward Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. Stay spooky. Stay scary. Take care. Catch you guys later.